subscribe and hit the bell icon for more notifications. Hi guys, welcome back to Best Way to Study. In this video, we are going to see what are the common mistakes which have to be avoided for your NSET exam preparation and during your NSET exam. Okay, so yes, now let's begin this video without any delay. First, let's discuss what are the mistakes which have to be avoided during your preparation NSET preparation okay and then let's see uh, mistakes to be avoided during your exam so yes first coming to uh, mistakes that have to be avoided during your preparation first common mistake is students who ever study something if they don't revise that is the first common mistake if you study a concept and leave it without revision, you're not going to remember it at all. Remember this point, okay? So whatever you study at the end of the day, you have to revise it again. Then only you can uh, remember it easily in your exam, okay? Important. And next important mistake which you must avoid is students will be, you know, fluctuating in between the subjects. For example, to uh, half an hour they'll do mathematics and next half an hour um, they'll go for physics or chemistry this is absolutely wrong thing and this is one of the common mistake which students have to stop while preparation okay guys once you give at least one or two hours for a subject then only you will effectively learn the concepts okay so for example half an hour mathematics and immediately after half an hour if you shift for chemistry your mind will take time to set okay first of all it have to understand the concepts okay so it will be like in a confusion stage so that all the time will be wasted at the end of the day that's why give at least one and a half to two hours for every subject take a break at least for 10 or 15 minutes and then and then you can shift to next subject okay this is the important thing which you have to repeat uh, remember these two are the common mistakes which most of the students do and you have to avoid them while your preparation now let's see what are the common mistakes hello learners I have got an exciting news for you. An academy has started MHT CET recently in order to help you for your preparation and you have the chance to win up to 100% scholarship. Scholarship test for MHT CET exam aspirants is going to start from March 29th 10 a.m. onwards and here are few exciting features for you. First feature is full length test you there will be tests every sunday starting from april in order to help you in your preparation there will also be live and recorded classes crash courses etc apart from this you will also have other benefits like regular special classes tips and strategies in order to crack this exam from top educator there is also an early bird discount until 31st March 2022 you can also get an additional 10% discount by using my code radha10 my code is also there in the description box below please go check out my description box <music> in your exam okay the d day the NSET final exam day what you have to do first mistakes which you have to not do is guys i have already made a, a video recently telling uh, how to attempt NSET online exam if you haven't watched that yet that video is going to be in the description box below that link will be in the description down you can watch it uh, once you're done watching this video okay so first guys you will like you know in your final MSET exam in your main exam, MSET exam you will have the option of fluctuating like you know there will be three options mathematics physics chemistry i'm taking the example of mbc students okay so by busy students don't worry you will have like three uh, three buttons three uh, options mathematics physics chemistry okay so you know uh, 
most of the students mainly what will they do they will go for max solve 10 questions if they feel max is hard then they'll go to physics solve two questions if they feel it is hard or boring they'll again shift don't do that mistake because coming to the mz online exam time management is the most important thing guys remember this okay so that's why please don't waste your time by you know just fluctuating obviously when you fluctuate or when you keep um, you know moving on from one one um, subject to other subject it will be waste of the time okay sincerely i'm saying you like seriously i'm telling you it's waste of time and in order to get a good score or good rank in your mz time management is really really important that's why please don't waste your time first go to a subject like you know you'll have three subjects mathematics physics chemistry first fix your mind and select one subject for example if you selected physics complete uh, you know you have to answer them it completely and then only you have to go to the next subject it, it might be either mathematics or chemistry but don't do the mistake of you know solving 10 questions from mathematics and then two questions from physics or five questions from chemistry don't do that mistake uh, go to a subject solve it completely and then go for next thing okay and uh, yes this is the first common mistake which you have to avoid Coming to the second common mistake, most of the students will, if, if they feel a particular question is hard, they will keep wasting the time in that question. For example, uh, you started solving a problem in mathematics, okay? And uh, after reading the question, you felt you know the answer and you started solving, okay? It's been two minutes, three minutes, five minutes and still you sat and you know, you are still continuing to solve the problem. Obviously, please don't do this kind of mistake because MSIT is having a very, very limited time, okay? You just have 180 minutes for your exam. You can't give five minutes or 10 minutes for a single question. Sit on the question for two minutes. If you're not getting that question, shift. If you are not getting that question or if you're not understanding what the question is all about, then go to next question. But don't waste your time by just, you know, trying on trying, okay? So max for one to two questions, I think you can give two to three minutes. But more than that, you should not, okay? Uh, you know, out of all the questions of mathematics, uh, at maximum, just give a priority to only two to three questions where you can spend three minutes max okay but for rest of the questions in mathematics you have to give only 30 to 60 seconds that's it don't waste your time okay and mainly uh the tip i'm going to give you a pro tip here okay what is that is guys uh especially for mathematics students mpc students if you want to save a lot of time first go for physics and chemistry because they are like you know mostly they are of like theoretical questions uh, physics will have problems also first go to chemistry solve the theoretical questions quickly go to physics answer them quickly and solve the problems of the physics and then quickly uh, go to your mathematics and give uh, like you know give complete time for that okay so that you know uh, why i'm telling you like this is because chemistry is having just your um, you know your theoretical questions for every theoretical question maximum you can spend up to 20 to 30 seconds per question or more than that so that once you end up solving both this chapter both these subjects and then once you go to mathematics you will save a lot of time trust me okay and yes uh these are like the main mistakes which you have to avoid okay so yes and guys i'm going to give you a suggestion once you sit in front of your pc check the things okay is it your number is it your name does the pc belongs to you or not do all these prior checkings okay so most of the students will you know start uh, seeing surroundings okay they'll waste all the time and once uh, the exam is about to begin then they'll realize that it's not their system and there's a lot of time wasted after that and you'll be nervous 
which will ultimately impact your exam and your performance in exam okay so that's why don't do the silly mistakes and main mistake which you have to avoid is guys few see um guys few uh center names may be common okay so that's why see the location of the center also okay and it's suggested if if you go to the center and visit the center one day at least prior your exam it will be really helpful because once you go and see your exam center and if you confirm that it's your exam center next day there will be no surprises no last minute surprises that's why and you'll be confident because you've already um, you know visited your exam center so thus you'll be like you know very very confident and um, you can directly visit there in your on your exam day okay so even this is important um so don't do the mistake of you know uh getting confused with your exam centers and all uh because mz for a mz exam or any other competitive exam even if you are late for one to two minutes or any couple of minutes they are not going to allow you for the exam so that's why be punctual okay so don't do these kind of silly mistakes which will imp impact your performance that's why guys be careful and all the very best for your exam okay so yes that's it for today hope you found this video useful don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon and also don't forget to like and share this video with all your friends thanks for watching and see you in my next video